we're ready to get back fishing again. It's time now for the Angler's View, brought to you by Pure Energy Rechargeable Batteries. Jen's 25-pound salmon hit on one of the two planer board rods just west of the creek mouth. Let's dissect some of the factors involved here. Salmon were suspended at various depths over 24 feet of water. The lake bottom was flat and featureless and offered no real structural elements. Sean marked small scattered schools of bait fish. Most of the larger fish that were marked on the graph were below or adjacent to the bait. The strike zone in this scenario is wide open. Running a variety of baits and presentations through these areas at staggered depths and lead lengths will help increase your odds of finding active fish. This particular fish hit a size 13 jointed crankbait in the color orange. The lure dives to approximately 6 feet below the surface and offers an amazing action. The bait was trolled 100 feet behind a small planer board, which was let out 40 to 50 feet beside the boat. Try using a 6-foot fluorocarbon leader between your lure and mainline for an additional stealthy presentation. GPS trolling speeds were 2.3 to 2.9 miles per hour. The split-screen GPS sonar allowed Sean to mark the locations of the bait and fish directly onto his GPS plot trail as they appeared on his sonar. This allowed the boat to be navigated extremely accurately over and through productive areas repeatedly. By only fishing areas that were holding fish, the pair dramatically increased their odds of a hookup. Long leads are key when fishing shallow salmon, especially in clear water. By getting your presentations away from the engine noise and shadow of your boat, you are far less likely to spook the fish. For more information on subjects featured in today's show, log on to our website.